Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be creating this super bold, dramatic, smoky eye look. And it's also going to have a super sculpted, chiseled out face. This look is actually inspired by New York Fashion Week that's coming up soon. This video is actually in collaboration with Sephora. But this time we're actually going to be talking about their Sephora Lux products, pretty much their luxury products that they have available at Sephora. Most of these products I already had at home, but they sent me a few extra products to create this video with. So if you guys want to see how I got this makeup look, make sure you keep on watching. So the first things they sent me wear a few skincare products this is the Tata Harper resurfacing serum and it's supposed to give your skin a daily dose of glow and it smells really nice it smells like citrus I don't normally come on camera with no um, moisturizer on my face <laughs> because I just look crazy next I'm going into La Mer this is their moisturizing cream this is such a bougie expensive moisturizer and it's honestly the most expensive moisturizer that I own currently at the moment. I think anyone that owns this moisturizer would say that it's, my, it's their most expensive moisturizer. Like a little bit goes such a long way. I'm gonna get just a little bit. Like that's all I'm gonna use right there. And that little bit is gonna go such a long way. I'm gonna get just a little bit more for my forehead. You can easily overdo it because it's so rich, it leaves your skin so hydrated and glowy. And depending on how much you use, you can definitely take it up a notch. Like you can add more. At nighttime, I definitely go heavier. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and prime my skin with the Armani Maestro UV Skin Defense Primer. This primer actually has sunscreen in it, it has SPF 50. And sunscreen is so important. You guys have heard me talk about sunscreen here on my channel a few times because of how important it is. Everybody needs sunscreen no matter how light or how dark your skin is. This is gonna be a very glowy, dewy skin look because this primer is, it also has a glow to it. All right, so I just did my eyebrows really quickly and I kind of primed my eyelid just a little bit. I'm not gonna set it with powder like I normally do because I'm gonna be using a cream on the lid. But I'm gonna be using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil and I'm just gonna pretty much focus this black color here what is the shade it's the shade whatever black I'm just gonna pretty much focus the color onto my actual lid and it looks messy right now but I'm definitely gonna blend that out here in a second if this isn't raccoonized then I don't know what is like this is the definition of raccoonized right here all right, I'm gonna blend that out using a Sephora Artist Crease Brush, and I'm just basically gonna diffuse that out. I want more of the color on my lid because this is gonna be a simple, easy New York Fashion Week look that you can do really quickly but still look super polished and put together. And then I'm going in with just a little bit more of the black pencil, just focusing that color. And I'm gonna take it up just a tad bit higher this time because now I can kind of see where I want the color to stop. And then just keep blending. This time I'm not gonna go as far up, I'm just gonna focus on diffusing that line that I created. Whereas the last time I was blending outwards, I'm just gonna focus on just diffusing the line right here. Okay, I'm not mad at that. Next, I'm going into this Dior Defy palette. It has five colors. I'm gonna be using this black right here to set just my lid space only. So I'm gonna use it to just set my lid. It's also gonna intensify that black a little bit more on the lid. I'm, next, I'm going into this shimmery blue silvery shade right here and I'm just gonna apply that right on the inner part of my lid area this eyeshadow palette is actually discontinued at Sephora but I'll have a link in the description for you guys with other shades within this line it's pretty next I'm just taking this Dior glow face palette and I'm gonna use this champagne -y shade right here to highlight my brow bone So next I'm using the Dior Show Pump and Volume Mascara. Just add a quick layer of mascara to my top lashes. 
All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and do foundation. I'm using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and I'm using it in the shade number 15. They did have a shade 14, and I've reviewed that one before, but 15 is just a better match to my undertone, and I'm glad they added it. You guys know by now that I, I typically do match my foundations to my chest. I match it to my chest not only because it gives me more of an evenness, but also because there's not many products on the market that go deep enough for me. Many foundations. All right, for a concealer, we're going to use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark Coffee. And I'm just gonna blend that out. This combo really makes my face look snatched and I haven't even contoured yet. Hello. Okay. I always put concealer on my nose at the end after I blended out everything and I'm pretty much ready to set because the longer it sits and dries down on my nose, the worse that it looks after a while. Okay, we are chiseled for the glitz. The only thing I'm gonna do now is just do a little bit of reverse contouring. Just a little bit, like just like that. Just to make it a little bit more chiseled. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And I'm just gonna set the high points and then I'm gonna dust this all over the rest of my face. For blush, I'm taking this NARS blush in the shade Exhibit A, if it'll focus, there we go. It's a really pretty orangey, red blush and so it's really pigmented so you definitely want to go in with a light hand and build your way up that looks so good all right i think my lashes are ready to go so i'm gonna go ahead and pop them on really quickly all right, so we got lashes on. I'm gonna go ahead and finish that bottom lash line really quickly with that same black eyeliner that we started off with. I'm gonna smudge that out. Now this technique also hides creasing if you have heavy creasing underneath your eyes, like I do, this technique also hides those fine lines that you have underneath your eyes there. I have a very heavy dramatic lash on, so it makes my eyes look even smaller than they already are. All right, I'm taking that black again from the Dior palette, and I'm gonna go ahead and set that cream that we just put down. Then last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and go back into that Dior face and highlight face Dior Glow face palette. I'm using the Sephora Pro Highlighting Brush, and I'm just gonna use that same champagne color we used earlier just to highlight the rest of my face. Ooh. This is just a little bit more goldy than I'm used to. But this is pretty. Dior has one of my favorite highlighter formulas. It literally just looks like skin. So for just the inner corner, I'm just using this silver shade right here. It looks really good in that inner corner. It just adds what was missing. Next, we're going into lips. I'm going to use this Givenchy La Rouge Liquid Lipstick. Look at the packaging of this lipstick. If this isn't luxury in a lipstick tube, I don't know what is. And it pretty much comes out like that. You just twist it. And I have it here in the shade Nude Tweed. I'm just gonna apply that to the center of my lips and blend that out. That is pretty. Y'all, how pretty is this? 
Alrighty guys, so this is the pretty much the final look for makeup. I actually really like the way that this turned out. The last thing they sent me was this perfume and it's from Killian. The name of the perfume is Kissing Burn 6.4 Calories Per Minute Wanna Work Out. Packaging, super cute, look at that. This is very unique. I haven't seen a perfume bottle like this. It smells really good and it has like more of a, like a dusky, warm scent to it. It smells really good. Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If it's given you some New York Fashion Week inspiration or just vibes, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you again to Sephora for collaborating with me again on another video. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Lots of love and I'll see you guys next time.